he gets very excited and, and he does his little things out of excitement rather than planned uh, showmanship. I just have fun when I go out there and that's, that's what I like. However, as different as they are off the court, once they step on it, they're perfectly in sync. By Eaton, Stockton in the lows, drive the alley, dish it to Carmelo, slam dunk. With John Stockton, the ideal setup man, and Carl Malone, the ultimate finisher, they form an unstoppable combination. Stockton to Malone. How many times have I said that in the last one? Just deja vu. Perfectly complimenting each other, these two different people have developed a keen appreciation of each other. A lot of things we do together is because Carl works as hard as he does. I mean, even if he gets the rebound, he's gonna he's gonna fill a lane for it. And I like to know he's there. I know he's there, and you can count on him being in the area. Stockton finds his meal ticket. Oh. It's a reward like thing, you know. If if your puppy bring you the newspaper, you're gonna give him a treat, so to speak. If you get the rebound and you give it to Stockton and bust your behind and get to court, it's just his way of giving it back to you. The only thing that Stockton and Malone do better than flatter each other is flatten opponents. A two-headed monster, they leave crushed defenders in their wake. He'll bounce it to the back. Oh, hammered up! In your face, Baba! On the floor, that suddenly that combination becomes uh, maybe the best in the history of the NBA is a one-two punch. This team also packs a different kind of one-two punch. They are not teammates, but they do share a special versatility that sets them apart. And a determination that has allowed them both to overcome adversity and achieve stardom. Hardaway gets it to Mullen. Three-point cut. He's made all four that he's tried out there tonight. He dribbles, he stops, he shoots over Magic from 21 and hits another one. Mullen, the greatest outside shooting exhibition I've seen in years, maybe ever. Chris Mullen is one of the finest basketball players in the world. But to fully appreciate his greatness, one must first learn of his journey. Growing up in Brooklyn, New York, Chris Mullen was a boy with a dream. All my life, that's all I ever wanted to be was an NBA basketball player. You would always see him running down the uh, avenue, or you'd see him uh, uh, going to play at odd times. He had a key to his grammar school gym. He had a key to his high school gym. He just spent an enormous amount of time trying to improve his game. Chris's practice paid off. He was a high school and a college All-American, an Olympic gold medal winner, and finally, the number one draft pick of the Golden State Warriors. You know, I thought that was the greatest thing. I'm come out to California, you know, make good money, hang out, you know. Mullen was being hailed as one of the NBA's hottest young stars. His life was beginning to change. I always would put um, other things behind basketball and working out. That was always my priority. Little by little, the tables were being turned. You know, once in a while, I let say I'm not going to work out tonight. I'll just go out and hang out. To the point where I was really, you know, get out of shape, and then you don't feel like playing because you know you know it's going to hurt. You know, and so. Going out on the court became a church.